cash by HQ. This is a place where trains bustle around the courtyard, you navigate through traps to fight the supervisor, and you sit up to fight the CFO himself. This place has a lot less similar and unique from Sub HQ, so let's begin. Welcome to our new episode of the One Life Guide, and today we'll be discussing Cash by HQ. The Cash Bot Mint. This is a place where most people go to train their gags or to get their Cash Bot suit parts. But here is a good place to test your movement skills and your combat knowledge. So, let's start with. The traps are typically the first things that you come across during the mints, so they're going to be the ones that I break down first. Here are a few tips on how to get through them. Let's start with... In the big room with the big gear and the one stomper, there is a simple trick that can help you skip the entire parkour section. The easiest way that I found of how to use the skip is to simply sprint and use the orbital camera to move around the corner. This will take practice, but learning this trick will help you in the future with mints and bosses like the CLO. In the stomper room where you have the boxes and the big stompers in a the line, there is a broken wall collision that will allow you to jump through the wall. If you jump in between the seam, you will be able to go through the wall if you were to jump into it. Overall, this doesn't exactly affect anything as this room is extremely easy to get through, but if you don't want to deal with the stompers or you want to feel like you're speedrunning, it's an easy trick they can use to shave off a second or two. When it comes to Stomper Alley, they're exactly the same as they come in the factory. So if you want to understand on how to use the Stomper Alley trick, you can refer back to the Cell HQ factory at this timestamp. And lastly, take your time with your jumps. You're in no rush to get through the mints, and if you start to rush your actions, you can risk dying in the process and have to restart the men all over again. Take your time, move carefully, and it'll be a walk in the park. Now, let's move on to... The fights in the mints are not that different from standard battles that you would fight in the VP or in buildings. The only notable fight would be the fight with the supervisor. However, there are a few tips that I haven't mentioned in the previous video that I would like to mention here that could possibly help you with your fights. When it comes to higher facilities such as the mint, sound will become more developed and it will be a more useful tool to have. The best way to utilize sound is to have three other people sound and one person lore. This makes it to where if lore hits, sound will be a guaranteed hit. However, if lore misses, sound will still have a high enough accuracy to where it is rare for both gags to miss. Squirt and Zap are powerful together, and if used correctly, Zap is the strongest gag in the game. As such, it is important to know how to use it if you were to have it, or if some of your teammates were to have it. One thing to keep in mind is that Zap has a 100% hit rate on soaked cogs. So if someone has pretty squirt, it'd be a good idea to use it to soak cogs that you don't want to deal with, or to soak cogs that are about to experience lore decay, that way Zap keeps the 100% hit rate, while the other gags have 95%. If used correctly, Zap can be the answer to a lot of situations that other gags simply can't compete with. When it comes to the mint supervisor, it is definitely a fight that needs to be considered depending on the team that you're beating in. As the mint supervisor has a whopping 315 health, this makes it the strongest cog in the facility. So if having a plan on how to defeat him is the unnecessary step to finishing the mint. There are several strategies that are easy to use to defeat him, such as using 4 max prestige operas. This deals 346 damage, which is enough to kill him and any other cogs in the fight. However, if someone is soundless or someone doesn't have opera, 
An alternative strategy that I use is to have three sound and one piano on the supervisor. If the piano is maxed, it will leave the supervisor with 95 health, meaning that as long as the team is able to deal with the other three cogs and the drop hits, the mint is over. Now with the men out of the way, let's move on to the CFO himself. The fight with the CFO can be broken down into two major parts, the cog fight and the crane round. Each one has their own set of problems that need to be overcome, so let's discuss those now, starting with the fights. The fights in the CFO can be pretty tough depending on the cogs that come out and what tier you're in. As in a tier 3 CFO, the first cog is a level 15 and more can come out through the rest of the fight. So I would recommend at least bringing level 7 gags in order to be the most useful in every situation. Strategy wise though, it's about the same as every other fight, however you should not be afraid to ask your teammates to use Suze and Fires as it's better to use a reward than to risk dying trying to save one. With that, that's it for the fights. So now let's move on to the crane round. The crane round is the most interesting out of the bunch. You can stomp or you can crane. Yes, you can stomp. However, I would recommend waiting until you're more experienced with movement before you try it. It's pretty fun, but it's also terrifying. If you're going to crane though, here are a few tips I would recommend knowing. When the CFO looks at you to throw gears at you, of course you need to move out of the way, and generally most people don't pay attention to where they're moving. However, as a one laugher you need to pay attention to where the goons are. If the hatch is to your left, then you need to move to the right in order to avoid the goons that are coming out of there. And it's vice versa if the hatch is on the right, you would just move to the left in order to avoid them. That way you don't accidentally run into a goon that's moving your way or waking up. In the CFO, there's a way to block a hatch in order to prevent goons from coming out. To do this, you need to throw a safe in front of the hatch, as the safe usually destroys goons that are in its path. But if you were to put a safe in front of the hatch and the goons walk into it, they would be destroyed. So that blocks out a hatch, and it's one of the best ways to survive higher tier CFOs. However, if one side is getting overwhelmed, it is best case scenario to get out and to walk away. For those of you who don't know what I mean by this, please refer to this clip. Yeah, goons are glitchy, and as some of you saw, some can even moonwalk through reality. So play close attention to where goons are. If one is knocked out beside you and is going to wake up, Run away, as goons can do complete 180s and move short distances whenever they wake up, so it's best to just walk away in order to avoid an accidental death. During tier 3 CFOs, a purple goon can emerge from the CFO's hatch whenever he gets on low health. When these goons begin to come out of the hatch, try to kill the CFO as quickly as possible. If you don't, the hatch will start spitting out goons and it will overwhelm the side that you're on and the other side. If this begins to happen, try to prevent it by using the safe blocking technique I explained earlier, as it can help manage the goons that are on your side. And if worse comes to worse and your side begins to get overwhelmed, get off the crane. Let someone else take care of it. It's best that you live in order to stomp a goon or two or to crane later on than to die and to be down a man. And with that, that's the entirety of Cash by HQ. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow and show that you enjoy the videos that I am making. I also stream on Twitch, however I am currently on vacation as I recently got back home with my parents and enjoying the time that I'm here with them. The links to my Discord and my Twitter are below, and with that, hope you guys have a wonderful day.